Hello everyone, this is Johnny Blaze, and of course, first of all, I'd like to mention that I am wearing a shirt today. <laughs> oh, fucking bastards. I saw that comment, and if I find out who did it, you're fired. Anyway, about me not wearing a shirt, and they don't know why. It's hot. It's Jersey. Anyway, I would like to show you guys something, a quick video. And everybody knows about music formats. I always talk about movie formats, but I'm talking about music for a minute. Everybody knows about, of course, the record. And, of course, tape. Yes, I still have a sealed tape. So I haven't really had much use for it. And, of course, the great soundtrack, by the way. The CD. But there's also one format that has been absent until now. I'm going to take a step outside the lab and show you. Now, what is this you may ask? I don't know what it is, but... latch on done here. Damn. It's a radio. It's an 8-track radio. What does it do? Well, it's for tapes like this. 8-tracks. Now, if any of you are watching this video and you grew up in the 70s or early 80s, you know exactly what these things are. A little bit of explanation for those who don't. Um, eight track was a popular music format, mostly in the United States. I heard it flopped in other countries because um, at the time a lot of car manufacturers wanted a way to bring records into the cars. And after Learjet made the technology, you know, you know it's called you know it's originally called Learjet eight tracks, you know, for their planes. Uh, General Motors and a few other car manufacturers helped, you know, develop it further, and we got this. But it became popular as a consumer format because at the time, it had better quality than a cassette. That's before all the chromium and all that other, you know, all that other high-priced crap for cassettes. And of course, it also had a little better quality than LPs. I have four tapes here. These are my first four. If you wonder what this tape is, it's Baker Street's on here. Now. One big problem with eight tracks is, you know, of course, they're a little, obviously a little screw with the labels. That doesn't really matter, but it's a tape, and the tape's open. And a lot of times, you know, the tape wears out over time. Like a couple tapes that a couple parts on here were. Um, like a little, if it's just see a dark stripe on the tape, that means that part's a little screw, but, you know, it'll still play. Um, is you see that thing right there? That's called a pressure pad, and there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube how to open them up and um, fix them. But that's a common problem because you need the pressure pad to press it, the tape against the head, and if you don't have a good one, you're not going to get good sound. So I'm going to show you. I'll do over quick. I'll turn this bad boy on. Well, you can hear by the static. It's an old '70s radio. I'm gonna play some foreigner. Now, you see in here, this is the eight track part. To play an eight track, you see that head right there? This part, this curved part, needs to be up against that head. So you would pop it if you want to know how it goes in. So you usually pop it out, label down, or if it's you know top or if it opens like this, label up, pop it in, just <laughs> Very good sound on him, as you can tell. Um, that pro pro button there is called a program button, as you can see. So put it right there so you can. I'm gonna see it. I'm just gonna put it like sideways, like this. All right. Notice how it has a number. That means a track means 
there's four tracks of stereo. So what that means is each is four pro, four programs, and usually an LP is broken up into those four programs. Sort of a fast forward function. And what happens is each track has stereo. So this is how you select program. Press the program button and run program four right now. Program one. Program two. Program three. And program four again. So that so. And when you want to quit playing, there's no stop button. Just pull the tape out. That's how. You, that's how. That's pretty much an eight track. And eight tracks are not terribly expensive. So if you want to start one, you know, start a collection is fine. Sometimes you can find new tapes. But a lot of the tapes that were made in the mid to late '80s were record club exclusive. So expect to be a heavy premium for that. Um. Sometimes you can find them cheap, but sometimes not. These four tapes right here cost me $15 each. Because in New Jersey, we really don't carry thrift, um, eight tracks in thrift stores. So, it's a quick overview of the eight track player. Oh, yeah, by the way, one, th one thing I forgot to mention. If you want to know what songs are on the back, this is really important for an eight track. Some have them on the front, others have them on the back like this. Now, it's you with each of the each of the four programs. It's usually about 13 minutes a piece. Um, could be wrong, but you know on this one I see that it is. So I'm just gonna go by that. Now you notice that a lot of things says you know a lot of songs are split, and that's because you know not enough you know there's not enough space <clears throat> on the one program. Um, but also this helps because certain artists, they would have an extent, use that for an extent solo, the A track of Pink Floyd's Animals. Um, also, um, you'll notice, I don't know, I didn't check, so I don't know if I have any of the, I don't know if any of these are like that, but because of that, splitting programs, sometimes what would happen is the track listing on the A track is different than the LP and the cassette and that's because sometimes they'd put them so where they could put the whole songs on a certain part um, and that's pretty much how it is and uh, these are the eight tracks um, so if you're interested I mean this is this is just handed to me um, but I'm trying to find an actual stereo component that can it is possible to put eight tracks to the computer. You just have to find one of those old machines that have a left and right speaker plug and then convert that into a headphone jack. I'm sure you can find the parts at Radio Shack. So this is an overview of eight track. And this is Johnny Blaze and I am signing off for now.